Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today we're gonna showcase Juki LU2810-7. I call it a monster. A really, really, really top of the line industrial sewing machine, walking feet. It's a huge, huge, look at this. Look at this head, wow. It's a great machine, one of the newest type of um, uh, creations of the Juki Corporation, made in China though, doesn't matter. It's made in China, a lot of people call in, the about 1541 and 1541S and then 1508 and 1508 NH, which are the walking foot, triple feet walking foot. But look at this monster right here, wow. Amazing, amazing. And uh, the feet are totally different than any other sewing machine, it has its own feet. Um, so if you have a 206RB or you have a 1541 or 1508, your feet will not work with this machine. That's before um, we get started. This is the Dash 7, uh, meaning that this is computerized, fully loaded, direct drive. This is the motor right here. Look at this monster motor, direct drive servo, quiet motor. Uh, the customer that is buying this one, that we're shipping it out to, uh, requires us to assemble it with a CP-180 panel. So this is a CP-180, and we obviously have the CP-18, but this is CP-180, so we sell our CP-180. Uh, regular size table, as any other table, and I go with 48, 47 by 21. This is 48 by... 24, my bad. We have it set up on our one of the newest uh, T leg that we just received. Is a really heavy duty. Look at this T leg with wheel, really heavy. Look at this panel right here, and you got two braces in the back, in the bottom. One, two. Um, you got the big fat braces in the back. That one. And it's really heavy. And beside the wheels, you got the locking or those legs that you could even, you know, probably move this even if you wanted to. You don't have to and you just bring them all the way down and adjust them. Um, the machine requires air and electric and the air is not a big deal. And I tell you why in, in a few minutes, uh, but it needs air because, look at this, look at this. Just look at this spacing, one inch, look at that. For the, like from the space under the foot is one inch. I'm using a 207 bonded thread, nylon bonded thread made by Gold Star. This is what I'm using today, a bonded thread. And we, the machine also comes with a um, automatic bobbin winder right here. This is the 138 thread. Um, look here, you got two stitch lengths. Number one, number two. Uh, and that's because you could have two stitch lengths at the same time. We could go from one to the other like this is that nine millimeter and I have it set up at three millimeter. You could go any time between the two stitching and I'll show you later on. A super extra large bobbin, not the end bobbin, the um, extra capacity bobbin that we have here. Um, it's a top load and top load makes this machine much, much more stronger than the side load. Side load is usually from here, but this is the top load. Um, everything is different than 1541 and 1508, and you have the machine with a safety stitch, right? A safety clutch right here. If um, machine gets stuck, you just press this and move back and forth the wheel and bam it start working again. Um, reverse right here, reverse right here, 
you got a small control panel right here. I'm gonna tell you what it is. And here is tension release right here. Um, this monster 2810-7 is from one end to the other is 28 inch. The bed is 25 inch. Uh, the clear. Clearance between needle and then it is 14 inch. All right, so you got 14 inch to play here. And now what is this? And the top notch here. You see the lower, you see the middle fit right here? There's two walking foot is two, one and two. This is outside, this is inside. Look at the inside. I could adjust it to nine. And when I go, see this one stays up. See this? How much it goes up? I could adjust it to more, less. You see, it's going lower and lower till to the bottom. So this is for the middle stitch, um, middle fit. Now you have this knee lifter right here, and you have right here. Later, I'm gonna tell you what is the difference between these two. Now, um, you could do a lot of heavy stuff, heavy sewing. This is a very, very heavy nylon um, outdoor material. The machine is already set up to do back stitching. And I'm gonna start sewing. I'm going slow, and obviously here you could, you have the option to make it slow, fast, slow, fast, but I'm in general going slow. And a lot of people have the question that if the pedal, is it one speed or you could adjust? See, I'm going one speed now, and then faster, faster, and stop. Needle down. This needle position down. You could have that change from here, needle up. And on the, on my feet, on the pedal, done. Now you see, we have back stitching four. One, two, three, four. We sell it up here to four. We could have it to two, we could have it to one, we could have it to zero. No back stitching, right? And this is the stitch top. And this is the bottom, you don't see the bottom because the bottom is yellow, okay? Now, this is, I'm using the lower uh, stitch length. The higher, the upper stitch length is here. And how you use it? If you're right here, I could just go between, I sew. And then I want to change between the two. And now I'm going to have the smaller stitching. Now we're doing this one. Here you go. That's the long, the large one. And this is the smaller one, you see? And this is the back. Again, you don't see the back. But here, I'm going to double that. That was four layers and plus four is six layers. Right? Down again. And I'm going to do now Again, I'm gonna to go to, let's say I'm gonna do seven. I'm gonna do uh, three, okay? This is the small one. I could stop, change, go the large one. And amazing, amazing sewing machine. You have this will show you the bobbin winder right here, how much you have on the bobbin. You could learn the CP180, but we have so much paperwork and so much information. 
is obviously auto lift with auto thread both auto lift and auto th the thread cutter are managed by air if you want to ask what type of air um compressor we should have the smallest will work uh, unless you have a um, big operation and you're going to run 20 of these machines uh the length underneath the um, foot was i said one inch it said 20 millimeter one inch would be 24 millimeter it's uh, two a stitch dial as i told you uh double tension one two tension um what else do i have to know about this machine oh we said direct drive and it's going to be semi uh semi dry head meaning that there is no control panel here if i go back up if i can go look at this beauty and obviously you, you hear that sound the machine is right now you're going to put oil in here from here put the oil in there and um, no oil no pump nothing here you will have a um, you have will have a tiny hole that this is for uh, extra oil a drip once in a while you know you could put it in a container or something this is the oil that the extra oil max extra oil will go here this is all the connections um and whoa this is heavy you gotta be careful and um all goes inside here i just gonna do some reverse before we start um let me turn this oh this off i'm sorry Reverse right here, or here. Again, we know what is this. This is for inside feet, the length. This is the uh, foot um, uh, pressure right here could adjust. Uh, everything is pretty much, oh, if we don't want to pretty much you, you're somewhere and you don't want to connect it to the an air and here foot lift right here look at this from here but with this one you could get so much up here if you let it go and here that's the air that's the pressure of the air that lifts it up a great 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 sewing machine and um i think honestly it's one of the best best machines that i've ever seen a walking foot machine we got it on our website, it's LU2810-7. My name is David from goldstartool.com. Let me know um, what else do you want me to do? What other video do you want me to make for you? For now, this is going to its owner, shipping out tomorrow. Thank you for watching and have a golden day. Thank you.